If you've been playing the game for a while, you know that a Starian is a vampire. On one of the nights where you decide to take a long rest, he comes to visit you in your sleep. But what if you let him continue what he's doing? You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. I can't believe I didn't see it. We even found the boar you snacked on. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals. Boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you. And your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. I do. I believe you. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. Fine. But not a drop more than you need. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. We let him continue. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. Relax and let yourself drift away. You feel a little cold, but that's all. There's no more pain, no more fear, no more struggle. It's all over. Oh, oh no. Something terrible's happened. We lie deceased on the ground. But you'll realize that the game is not over. You could have a Starian or really any NPC revive him. You could also use Withers. Take you. Death's close at hand. You're... You're here. Thank goodness. I was worried about you. You looked a little ill last night, but you've certainly recovered. Well, I feel a little combative today. Oof! God damn it! I understand you're upset, but let's not get carried away. Carried away? You killed me. Uh, killed feels like a strong word. Not many corpses have your vigor. <laughs> Now, I admit, I got carried away last night. I apologize. But look at you now, perfectly healthy. So let's not fall out over this. We still need each other, after all. 
do we? Why should I keep you around? A strong, well-fed vampire? I'm a powerful weapon. You'd be a fool to toss me aside now. Anyway, last night was an aberration. It will never happen again. What do you say? Can we let bygones be bygones? All right. But you can't drink people's blood from now on. What? Look, I, I swear I won't come after yours. But anyone's? You know what I am now. I can fight with all my weapons. Teeth included. And if I happen to drain the occasional bandit during a fight, what's the harm? They're just as dead. All right. But I'll be watching. Excellent. Now, shall we go? I'm already feeling a little peckish. So a simple health potion, or if another party member can heal us, it will put us right as rain. One thing to notice is that we don't have any debuffs on our person at the moment. Let me show you what debuffs do occur when you stop him. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. <sighs> I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. You'll notice that we have the condition of bloodless. Feels a bit woozy, minus one to attack rolls, saving throws, and most ability checks. So this could easily be avoided if we just let him drain us. Now. That's something to strongly consider in your own playthrough if that's worth it or not, but it's something I've been doing so that way I don't have any encounters after leaving this portion that could potentially lead us to have a difficult battle. Well, if this was something that you enjoyed, we hope that you would consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, of course, if you like it, and we always appreciate reading comments. If you enjoy this video and the tips it provided, why don't you check out this video as well? Thank you very much, everybody, and I hope you have a great rest of the end of the year.